next the roast pork. Okay, crunch test. Now this is very close to being the ultimate roast pork la. But I think it could still do with a few more tweaks So why I like it It's got this fantastic light biscuit crunch on the skin That is airy and almost fragile You bite into it and it lightly shatters in your mouth Apparently the pork bellies are air dried for at least 24 hours And that extra drying out helps it get that airy biscuit like crunch Then the fat is soft, almost melting And the meat has a softer than usual su yolk texture la. Not as soft as their char siu, it's firmer than that. All this melting fat and soft meat texture right, is thanks to Martin's technique la, of roasting it for almost two hours to break down the connective tissue. But here's why I don't like it sometimes. As with the char siu, not everybody will like a softer fat and a softer meat texture. La. Frankly, I find the texture perfectly fine here, but some people would like a little bit more of that firm juiciness. La, I mean. For me, I can appreciate it for what it is. La. But I have a bigger issue with the seasoning. Sometimes it's spot on, sometimes it's a little on the light side. Apparently, Martin uses just a pinch of five spice powder and no fermented bean curd, and I presume some, some salt as well. And because of the lighter seasoning, you do taste more of the pork flavour, which is a plus point. I asked Martin about this, and he said that the light seasoning is deliberate. And it has to do with the underside of the roast pork right here. Because it is the only side where you can season the pork belly, you need a lot of seasoning to penetrate such a large slab of pork. Very often, that underside is too salty to eat, and sometimes hawkers will cut it off with that little bit of meat wasted. So Martin wanted to avoid that, which is why whenever you eat the underside of the roast pork at 88 Hong Kong Roast, the meat almost has a ham-like saltiness. Let's try some. You can eat it on its own and it isn't too salty. But in my opinion, right, even though the salt level varies, the roast pork flavour could still do a, with just a little bit more. La. It's okay with some dressed noodles or some rice with the gravy, but it's way too underflavoured with just plain rice and the meat alone. La. Thankfully, you have the chilli sauces if you want to add more flavour. 